Plants really do communicate. Using their own language, they send messages to other plants about the environment. In Florence, a European research project is analyzing the electrical activity of plants. Plants are able to sense the gravitational field, electrical fields, chemical gradients, etc. This huge amount of information exchanged by plants is there. Why shouldn't we use it? We just have to find out how to decode it and then make it intelligible. The first task is to digitally analyze the behavior of cyborg plants in specific circumstances. Observing signals generated by the plants, we can backtrack to the stimuli that generate them and find good quality signals. Once they've been read without being distorted and have possibly been amplified, they are digitized. In other words, an analog signal which varies in time is converted into data. This is the challenge tracing the causes while writing a reference data set about how plants react. It's a real vocabulary. Each electrical message corresponds to a specific environmental parameter. If we can break the code, we will have a Rosetta Stone for plants, which will tell us what plants are sensing. A digital network and a powerful algorithm transforms each tree into an environmental informer. The ultimate aim is to collect data from several plants and aggregate them via a node. It will be much more cost effective. A single tree will be able to give information about several environmental parameters at the same time. Using traditional sensors, as we currently do in environmental monitoring stations, we use one sensor to monitor each parameter that we want to analyze, and that's very expensive. From real-time monitoring of ozone to measuring chemicals in agriculture, decoding the language of plants could give us a global picture of the health of our environment in a way we never had before.